ciao. Anyway, so. Hello guys, so let's start the fifth day. Before I start, and as you can see, I have a nice curl, curls or waves on my hair. I was just recording a video for a new tool that I'm trying with you guys, and I really like it. It was my gift for my gift for me for my birthday. So yeah, and this one just keep it coming because it should be on the other side. But anyway, I love it too. Anyway, so let's go to the fifth day, guys. For the fifth day, it's it's amazing because um, yesterday I wasn't that well, as you know. Um, even before I go to sleep, I was okay. I was trying to be calm and nice, but I was actually, but not like the days before. So you know, when you have this calling for you, or you have this intuition, like a gut feeling, that I need to make a different meditation. So I searched for a chakra balance meditation on YouTube. If you don't know the chakras, it's energy um, centers that place all over your, your body on like um, the vertical manner. It's um, seven or eight chakras, but the one that I found was 15 minutes for seven chakras, which is pretty good. The eight is just above your head, just above your head here. So the seven is just all connected to your body. So I decided to make this meditation. To be honest, just 15 minutes, but I was like present in every single moment in it. And I begin to feel so much energy. I begin to feel so much peace and calm. And my tears were just coming, coming down from my eyes like a river actually from the peace and joy and the, the, the... I can't describe the feeling, but it was so, so good. Um, that I really felt these centers really activated and um, like in different colors. It was so amazing meditation. Uh, but actually, after I finished this meditation, I'm trying to sleep because it's my evening meditation. Um, it's the first meditation of the day. So um, when I begin to go to sleep, I begin to notice that I begin to have a really kind of a burning sensation like a skin rash everywhere on my upper chest, on my upper arms, on my abdomens, and in my pelvic area. Like very burning sensation. It was so annoying that I couldn't sleep and begin just wake up about what's happening here. And that was after my meditation and I didn't have a skin rash for a really long time. So it was a little bit weird for me. So I decided to Google it and search if this meditation can cause a skin rash in some cases. And yes, for the chakra meditation, the uh, balancing chakra meditation for some people who are sensitive, it can cause a skin rash, especially the activation of the root chakra or the candle, candelini. It's kundalini, candelini. I don't know how to pronounce it to be honest and I need to read more about it because it's my first time to read something about it but I read yeah as if for some people you can have skin rash when you balance the root chakra especially for me because I know I already have a unbalanced like enormous amount of sexual energy in root chakra root chakra is related to the sexual energy and the energy of creation because you know sexual energy we create life from sex right so i know that i have a, a large amount i need to like release from my body and to use it in like anyway different ways the the real way or the other way of like being as a creative person I need to create stuff um not create life not now but anyway anyway so um i know that so i understand that yeah this um, skin rash maybe for me like Likely it was from my root chakra and then I uh, fall asleep and wake up very very calm and very peaceful like nothing happens yesterday like even more calmer than the day before and the day before it was so much peace and like harmony with myself inside and I made the same meditation in the morning and I felt the same way even more which is amazing. So as I told you, I woke up very peaceful, very in harmony with myself. I really felt like all the center really like in place. So I made the same meditation and feel the same sensation even more. And um, I started my day. And um, as you know, I listened to Inner Engineering with the Guru. And after each session or each lesson, there is a meditation. And the meditation of today was um, about love and relationship. And actually, I really needed this meditation, and it was 
just what I needed, guys. It was just in point. The meditation was so beautiful and I was so into it. I was in the place that I imagined. It was about a meditation you imagine in like a forest or a, a valley with a, a, like a water and birds and trees and all this stuff. I was there, literally, and I felt so much love that I've never felt in my entire life. And I still feel that same sens sensation till this moment. I feel like I get like I am love, literally. That feeling is amazing. If you can find this meditation, you you need to do it. It's called Chichati meditation. And after this meditation, I felt something more significant, actually, that I was trying to understand from a really young time, but I couldn't somehow, like, it was like, my mind was rejecting it, but now I understand. Because in this meditation, you are, you concentrate on, on yourself, and you are love, and feel that love spread from inside of you, around you, and then you attract everything to you. And that feeling of love that I felt in this meditation, I was just like, my my tears was river. It was like going without stopping. It was amazing sensation. And after I finished this meditation, I just like, wait, I don't need to do anything to get the things I want, but not wanting it from needing space. Just when I want something, I don't need to say or do or make anything to make it happen because it already happened and it's mine. Like for example, because this meditation was about love, I don't need to say to the one that I love, I love you because I know they know and I know when they think about it, they will get it. I know it sounds weird if you're not into it, but when you really feel the same feelings that I have today, you will understand what I'm talking about here, guys. It's amazing. So I know this part of this day is a little bit longer than it should be, but I really wanted to go through everything because I had the extra meditation that I had today for uh, from Sadhguru called Chit Chat Day Meditation. I don't know if I ever told you or not, but it's really amazing one. I really, if you find it, you need to try it. And um, it's an inner engineering program of such a guru. And um, yeah, overall, this day is, I will say it's the most successful day in my meditation journey, to be honest. I still feel that feeling. I still feel it. I still feel that I am in that meditation still, like I'm meditating while I'm eating, when I'm like cleaning, when I'm working, when I'm like styling my hair, I just feel I am in that state and it's amazing. I guess I need to cut this part of the meditation and make it like an audio file so I can do this meditation every single day too. Um, so, so this is for the fifth day. I am way, 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 way better when I started this journey and I am so blessed that I had that like a gut intuition that I need to go th to go through this meditation challenge and 